What's going on guys? It's Jeff Farina from Jeff.TV here with, well you know, a different unboxing than I've done in a while. If you've been paying attention to the channel, I've been doing a lot of gaming related stuff. Uh, unboxings, for example, of the PlayStation 4 and of the Xbox One, uh, and a couple of the accessories over the last couple of weeks. Well, I did a watch unboxing probably, wow, two and a half, three years ago now. Uh, if you know me, you know that I am a watch guy. I have a different watch for every day of the week and then some. So, for example, today I'm wearing a different one. You'll see me wearing it tomorrow. I mean, there's one right here in front of me. So, here we go. Going to unbox a watch. This is a G-Shock watch. Uh, I actually saw it on Amazon. Actually, I saw it on Macy's.com, believe it or not. I have a G-Shock. It's a Bape. It's a bathing ape. Uh, yes, it's legit. No, I don't wear it very often because it is legit. So, I want another G-Shock that I don't mind if I beat up and get wet and go hiking with and whatever it may be. So, this is going to be that watch. Now... I think it should say actually right here on the bottom. So it's the Casio Men's GA 100 SD. Uh, it's the military sand color. My bape is white. Bathing ape is what that means. It's white. I wanted something different. Here it is right here. So it's $110 at Macy's. I got it from Amazon for $80, $84, dollars somewhere around there. So not bad. Uh, immediately inside the box, we have the little corny tin they give you. Um, the tins are kind of cool though. You know, the babe comes with a box. Um, this is, this is neat. It's always cool to see some little novelty of some kind. So, uh, 2.0 water resistant, etc., etc. Since, I believe it says 1983. Yes, it does. Since 1983. So, let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. <clears throat> now, I'm not going to run over the operation of the watch too much. I'll just kind of show what it looks like. Because one thing I noticed when I looked up this watch is there aren't a whole lot of videos about it. Now, if you've bought things anywhere early online before, you know that color representation on some sites isn't always very good into what it actually looks like in real life. So I'm hoping this does better justice than a picture might. So in the box, right off the bat, we have the warranty card on top, the international warranty card, which Casio is famous for, and all that good stuff. So you know, if you get a G-Shock, yes, it's a plastic or silicone or rubber watch. It's not a metal watch. You know, like a Citizen, like a Rolex, like an Omega, and I know those are completely different ends of the spectrum, but um, it's still good to have some kind of warranty there. So here we go. Here's the pretty thick user guide, and I will have to read some of this uh, just in terms of setting the watch. Unfortunately, it's a necessary evil, but no problem. Then that's it. Pretty simple. Right inside is the watch itself. So to give you a close-up, as you can see, it's a combination of digital and analog. So it has the analog hands. I'm a big chronograph guy. Um, this was actually a inheritance watch, not my typical style, but it means something to me, which is why I wear it so frequently. Uh, but I, I typically like the analog look. I like things to look old and classy. Um, and this kind of blends the best of both worlds, in my opinion. So again, hopefully this is doing justice to the actual color. I know my monitor is on here. Let's see if I actually turn off my computer monitor. Yeah, so this is, you're probably seeing the color a lot better now. So there we go on top, G-Shock protection. You have the adjust mode, forward and reverse buttons here. Let's go ahead and throw it on, see what it looks like. And I don't think this, this tag on the side does not have the price tag on it, like you would see if you went into a Macy's. It was ripped off. And again, if you went into a Macy's, you would expect to pay around $110 for this watch. All right, so the tag's off. Now on the clasp, as you can see, you should be able to see the G-Shock name there. On the back, same thing, shock resist. Try to angle it so that you can see it. And it just gives you the water resistance with the depth, Casio with the G-Shock logo. That's how you know it's the real deal. So let's go ahead and throw it on. It's actually hard to do in front of my camera, the angle that I'm at. So yeah, I have tiny, tiny little wrists. And as you can see, that's how it looks on the wrist right there. Same size as any typical G-Shock. I mean, as far as I can tell, every G-Shock is the same size. Correct me if I'm wrong in a comment, because that's probably the case. I probably am wrong. Um, but I like the color a lot. Now, granted, I am wearing a flannel shirt today. But I like the color an awful lot. You, know, you can see it against some skin tone a little bit better. Um, but so far, I mean, it's, it looks great. You need to make sure everything is correct time-wise, which it is not. Uh, it is not almost 8 o'clock. I hope 
Hope that's moving accordingly, but um, it's more like 6 o'clock my time, so I'll have to go ahead and adjust that. The date's wrong. Yeah, everything's wrong. All that stuff. Date, day, time, etc. So I'll go ahead and I have to read the manual now to actually correct that. But that, once again, this is, and it's on the box here, this is the Casio Men's GA100 SD G-Shock, and it's the Military Sand Resin. Previously, this was a military-only color for many years. I mean, you could find these at some shops, uh, but now you can get it online, you can get it at Macy's, you can get it anywhere. And I actually like the color so far. It's a nice little tactical watch, nice little hiking watch. I mean, these are watches you don't mind beating up. They're, they're meant to take that. A lot of times, people will, if you're a gun guy, for example, go to the shooting range with a mechanical watch. They don't like the recoil. From the weapons so i highly recommend getting a watch like this because it is shock resistant the recoil is not going to mess with those internals uh, but there you have it if you enjoyed this video i know it was off topic uh, please give it a thumbs up and there will be some new videos for me coming shortly actually the next one you're going to see after this is something you've never seen on my channel before so rather than make a different channel i think i should just use the same great base that i have in terms of viewers you guys are fantastic so I'm going to continue with the same viewer base I have and just keep making videos and hopefully the feedback will grow. Uh, like Things like the Birchbox, for example, were a different direction from what I usually do of just tech and just gaming. So yeah, we're going to shoot off in all different directions. A lot of times the people I talk to on Twitter who are into tech and into gaming are also into watches, for example. Also into a couple of other things, so you may have the same tastes and same likes as I do. So if you do, fantastic. If you don't, well, you know, just... Keep an eye out for the things that I do make that you are interested in, and we'll go from there. So that, again, that's the Casio, Casio, I can't say that word today, G-Shock Military Sand Color. And thanks very much for watching, everyone.